Hey you, welcome to my unboxing of the Pilot Ink. Now I'm excited and if you saw my previous video on unboxing Pelican Ink, thanks so much for checking it out and for all the comments. Now if you saw that I use rod ring and I have, uh, I do have some rod ring ink in here which is very beautiful. I have some illustrations that I'm going to show you at the end of this video after I unbox the ink. I'm going to show you those illustrations and to explain to you exactly why you should get some reside. Now let me show you here are the rod, rod ring rapido grass, right? So the interesting thing about these pens is they're very fine tips. So if I pull this out, you see the cartridge in there and you can refill that. And uh, let's take a look at the actual now look at that. You see that very fine tip, and uh, it it does it does get clogged up if you don't use it very often. And um, I haven't used it in a while, but that's how I did those illustrations. But enough about that. I uh, wanted to get the ink. This is fountain pen ink, so this is a fountain pen, so you can see the difference. Uh, mainly used for calligraphy, and you see that. So uh, you gotta buy specific ink for it. You can't just use any kind of ink. So that's why. I got this so I'm excited let's open it up and then I'll explain to you what it's all about so if you're using standard pens or illustrator pens and you go through them once you buy them uh, you know you're, you're you're tossing them out and then uh, you know you're not gonna get much use out of it and it's almost like you're just throwing away the money um, so okay let's take a look oh there it is Okay, so there it is guys. Look at it right there. It's a pile of ink. Oh man, I'm excited to use this. And uh, you get quite a bit for your money. Um, so 50 millimeters. Let's see. Takasumi. And let's look at the bottom here. Bottle ink for fountain pen. Alright, I'm excited guys. Pilotpen.com. So now I don't have a pilot pen, but I do have fountain pens. But let's let's take a look at what this looks like. It almost uh, it almost looks like a cologne bottle or perfume bottle. What do you guys think? That, uh, does it look like a box that a perfume will come in? Let me know in the comments if you think it does. Oh, let's take a look. Oh wow, look at that. Even the bottle looks like it's some kind of fragrance bottle, but it's not. This is actually ink for a fountain pen. Um, Wow, glass, 2006, that's when it was made. So there it is, guys. And then you use them in these fountain pens. That's what you use them for. So if you got these fountain pens, you want to make sure you use specific ink for the fountain pen. That's what it's for. Or you can use them in one of these pens here. Uh, like I have, so I'm excited to use this. I hope you guys stick around and check out my illustrations. They're coming up in just a few minutes here. Um, and here's another rot ring. Um, which uh, I'm, I want to try this ink. Now, let me know in the comments so you guys think it's okay to use this ink in the rot ring repeatograph. Now it might be interesting because the repeatograph, as you know, it's a, like I showed you the other one, very fine tip. Look at how fine that tip is. It's like sharp. <laughs> so let me know if you guys use rot ring, uh, if you ever heard of rot ring before, but that's what these are, rot ring repeatograph. Now, let's put the ink away, as I promise, because we're getting close to the end of the video. Let's check out those illustrations, and I'm like, all right, here we go. See, the rot ring gives you those kind of lines. Uh, this is rot ring ink, by the way, uh, but it gives you those fine lines. So you can see, look at the quality right there. Now, this is from... Uh, 2018 when I was doing this illustration. So here's another one. I'll uh, check that out. Yep, it's one of my favorite ones actually. Uh, there's a lot of symmetry and a lot of intricate stuff happening in there. Uh, again with the rot ring, the stippling, and then some different type of markers. So you have. I also use the Copic markers. You guys ever use the Copic markers? Um, but the only thing is, once these run out, um, you know what I mean. Like you, you throw it out. You can't refill these. Uh, so that's why I decided to go with a fountain pen because you can refill it. So look at the detail on that. Um, very fine detail. And that's what I like about the rot rings. One more one more drawing for your eyes. And uh, so guys, I'm going to be doing more of these art videos. And I hope you guys stick around and check that out. And uh, yeah, give me some comments. Give me some tips. Let me know if you're an illustrator or an artist. I would love to hear from you. All right, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.